Rapid amplification of cDNA ends race is a technique used in molecular biology to obtain the full-length sequence of an RNA transcript found within a cell. RACE results in the production of a cDNA copy of the RNA sequence of interest, produced through reverse transcription, followed by PCR amplification of the cDNA copies CRT-PCR. The amplified cDNA copies are then sequenced and, if long enough, should map to a unique genomic region. Race is commonly followed up by cloning before sequencing of what was originally individual RNA molecules. A more high-throughput alternative which is useful for identification of novel transcript structures, is to sequence the race products by next-generation sequencing technologies. Topic. Process. RACE can provide the sequence of an RNA transcript from a small known sequence within the transcript to the 5 feet in 5 feet race PCR or 3 feet in 3 feet race PCR of the RNA. This technique is sometimes called one-sided PCR or anchored PCR. The first step in RACE is to use reverse transcription to produce a cDNA copy of a region of the RNA transcript. In this process, an unknown end portion of a transcript is copied using a known sequence from the center of the transcript. The copied region is bounded by the known sequence, at either the 5 feet or 3 feet end. The protocols for 5 feet or 3 feet races differ slightly. 5 feet race PCR begins using mRNA as a template for a first round of cDNA synthesis or reverse transcription reaction using an antisense reverse oligonucleotide primer that recognizes a known sequence in the middle of the gene of interest. The primer is called a gene-specific primer GSP. The primer binds to the mRNA, and the enzyme reverse transcriptase adds base pairs to the three feet end of the primer to generate a specific single stranded cDNA product. This is the reverse complement of the mRNA. Following cDNA synthesis, the enzyme terminal deoxynucleotidal transferase TDT is used to add a string of identical nucleotides, known as a homopolymeric tail, to the three feet end of the cDNA. There are some other ways to add the three terminal sequence for the first strand of the de novo cDNA synthesis which are much more efficient than homopolymeric tailing, but the sense of the method remains the same. PCR is then carried out, which uses a second antisense gene-specific primer GSP2, that binds to the known sequence, and a sense forward universal primer up that binds the homopolymeric tail added to the three feet ends of the cDNAs to amplify a cDNA product from the five feet end. 3 feet race PCR uses the natural polyatail that exists at the 3 feet end of all eukaryotic mRNAs for priming during reverse transcription, so this method does not require the addition of nucleotides by TDT. CDNAs are generated using an oligo DT adapter primer, a primer with a short sequence of deoxythymine nucleotides that complements the polya stretch and adds a special adapter sequence to the 5 feet end of each cDNA. PCR is then used to amplify 3 feet cDNA from a known region using a sense GSP and an anti-sense primer complementary to the adapter sequence. Topic. Race sequencing The cDNA molecules generated by race can be sequenced using high-throughput sequencing technologies also called, race-seq. 
High throughput sequencing characterization of race fragments is highly time efficient, more sensitive, less costly and technically feasible compared to traditional characterization of race fragments with molecular cloning followed by Sanger sequencing of a few clones. Topic: History and applications. Race can be used to amplify unknown 5 feet 5 race or 3 feet 3 race parts of RNA molecules where part of the RNA sequence is known and targeted by a gene-specific primer. Combined with high-throughput sequencing for characterization of these amplified race products, it is possible to apply the approach to characterize any types of coding or non-coding RNA molecules. The idea of combining race with high throughput sequencing was first introduced in 2009 as deep race to perform mapping of transcription start sites TSS of 17 genes in a single cell line. For example, in a study from 2014 to accurately map cleavage sites of target RNA directed by synthetic SIRNAS, the approach was first named race SEQ. Further, the methodology was used to characterize full-length unknown parts of novel transcripts and fusion transcripts in colorectal cancer. In another study aiming to characterize unknown transcript structures of LNCR NAS, RACE was used in combination with semi-long 454 sequencing. 